Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draconich and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how you can model the frame of our tennis racket. It is the part 2 of our modeling a tennis racket series of tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, we have modeled it already the net, but we need to, uh, in order for us to, uh, to have a reference image, I need to press N and I need to go to the background images down here and add an image. I have downloaded a Wikimedia Commons image which I'm going to open. But first I want to set the image for only the just the top the top view. So open image, this one. Okay, so as you can see now, we have this kind of image that is going to help us in our modeling process. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit so we can better see our model here. I'm hiding the side panel and I'm selecting the net object and rotating it around the z-axis by 90 degrees. Alright, so I'm moving it somewhere here in the middle and I want to scale it up a little bit, roughly, matching the image of, uh, of reference. Okay, so another thing I want to do, if you need to reshape your object, uh, a, a quick and dirty way would be to use by using the uh, lattice modifier but first of all you need to press ctrl a and apply the rotation the scale for our net very very important this one so i'm pressing shift s bringing the cursor to the selected and i'm adding a lattice object which i'm going to scale by pressing s shift z along the xy plane so it roughly matches the uh, my you know my net. All right, so uh, S X so something like so. And now I need to go to the lattice up over here to the lattice object mo uh, context, and I need to add some subdivisions for the U and V uh, you know directions. So next thing I want to do is to select my net object, and I need to. I go to the modifiers panel and add a modifier lattice modifier which is uh, you can see over here I want to, uh, to, to, to to set the lattice object as the object of the modifier and I need to select now my lattice object tab into the mode for this object switch over to the top view and just select some vertices and kind of try to reshape scale them along the x-axis perhaps so they better match my reference image so just reshaping get the meaning you don't have to for our tutorial okay we need to uh, we don't have it exactly you know but you get the meaning okay now I want to select my net object go ahead apply the, the lattice modifier and now we can safely get rid of the lattice object by selecting it and pressing X to delete the object. Alright, now I have my net object here that matches the reference image. So next thing I want to do is to tab into edit mode and I want to deselect all the vertices. Now the problem is that I need to select only the border vertices. If you go ahead and click Alt, uh, right click to select loops, it does work. So a more efficient way for doing so is by selecting just any of the interior vertices here and then go down to the select menu and select similar and from the pop-up menu select amount of adjacent faces. So now we have selected very quickly at once all the interior vertices. All we have to do is to press Ctrl I to invert the selection and now we have selected the outside vertices, those exterior vertices. So I'm going to shift the duplicate them holding down middle mouse button and I'm moving them a little bit upwards now I want to press P to separate the selection into a separate object now I tab out edit mode I'm selecting my new object which is over here the out outliner outliner you can see it under the name Bezier Circle 001 I want to rename it to something like frame Alright, now the frame object is not visible and the reason for that is that if you go to the modifier pa uh, ta uh, 
excuse me, into the modifier panel, you can see that it has always a wireframe modifier applied to it, so I'm deleting the modifier. I'm tapping into edit mode and I want to select all the vertices and I want to reduce, because there are too many vertices right now, I want to reduce them quite a bit. So a quick and dirty way for doing so is by pressing W and remove doubles and you set the value here from the merge distance to something like uh, 0.3, I'm not sure, maybe even more than that, right? So you have only a few vertices left without losing the overall shape, okay, of the of your uh, circle here, oval. Okay, now that I'm happy with the result, I need to just go ahead and select just few of the vertices, half of them, delete them, all right? All right, delete the vertices. So let me hide first the net object by pressing H, and now I'm selecting my frame object. Okay, now I need to select those two vertices here and scale them along the x-axis to zero, and I need to kind of move until they match. They are just in the middle, okay, something like so. Now, what I need to do is to uh, is to go ahead and select all of them, press F to fill them, I to insert them a little bit, all right, something like so, not too much, all right, and then I need to uh, kind of uh, delete those faces here, this one, and plus this one, okay, delete those faces, and I need to select those vertices, all of those vertices, and just bring them, steer them to zero, Right, move them just they are just in the middle. Okay, now select all of the faces and extrude them a little bit along the z-axis. All right, and now I need to use some extrusion here. As you can see, uh, we need to extrude those two faces over here. So switch over to the face select mode and just select those two and extrude them just by a little bit. Okay, switch over to the top and scale them by pressing shift z along the xy plane rotate them and grabbing them moving them somewhat all right rotating them also all right grabbing them all right something like that okay perhaps and uh, yeah something like so and i need to add some more subdivisions here some more extruded faces I rotated them a little bit okay something like so by control right uh, control left clicking all right okay you can add some more you know uh, uh, faces all right okay something like so all right and rotate them things like that okay you get the meaning right you can work later on for finding a better uh, for uh, in the detail but for the moment I need to what I need to do is to go ahead delete those faces here that are here okay and maybe this one over here okay so delete those faces okay and I need now to uh, change a little bit the geometry here okay so the 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 flow of the lines if you prefer so i'm switching over to the edge select mode i'm alt right clicking selecting this edge loop here okay and i just want to go ahead and delete the edge loop all right so i have made something like so now i need also to delete this uh edge loop as well now i i want to add two more edge loops here okay and i need to Go ahead and connect the vertices by switching over to the vertex select mode and select those two vertices, J, hit J to connect them, all right? So also this one, these two vertices, so hit J to connect them. Now I want to add a, a loop cut here, all right? So I need to switch over to the side view and it's a good idea to always, uh, in this, at this point to go ahead and click the limit selection to visible and check this so I can now select also the vertices that are, that are hidden so I'm selecting 
by B border select all those vertices at the bottom and I'm going ahead and delete the, the vertices. Alright, so I have something like so. Okay. You can see I have a nice flow here of loops. Right? So, okay. And now what I need to do is to go ahead and apply a mirror modifier for my object. So add the modifier mirror and I'm setting the X both the X and the Z axis as the axis of symmetry as you can see now it looks like so but I'm gonna select all of them and switch over to the side view and I'm going to bring them until they are close together alright I'm also going to uh, add a, to extrude this loop of vertices as well as you can see the interior loop of vertices extrude it along the Z axis a little bit now enable the clipping option and now if you move it you can see they have glued together all right so another thing I want to take care about is to glue them as well those two as well those vertices as well and you get them meaning I mean the overall meaning and I need to select also this loop but before that I think I called um, yeah I could select those vertices, enable the by pressing O or Alt O the proportional fall off, and I need to, uh, you know, I need to move some vertices here. So I have, I need to move this along the x-axis, and I need to also move these vertices as well. So you can see now, you have to uncheck the clipping of course alright, just now re-enable the clipping until you are happy with the result anyways, now I need to select this loop and I need to extrude it along the z-axis until it closes this gap as well so next thing I want to do is I want to add yet another loop cut somewhere here alright now select those faces here, this loop cut, and just extrude it, pressing E, right click to cancel and then Alt S. So without the proportional fall off, of course. So you can add this nice indent here. Okay, alright, so we have something like so. And of course you can add a bevel to the edges that are at the corner. So select this loop over here and be careful, press Ctrl B, but be careful not to overlap any other, you know, any other uh, uh, edges nearby. So I'm, I'm, I'm setting the segments to something like two or three, perhaps, all right, something like so. So I have that nice bevel as well. I'm tapping out edit mode, smoothing out the geometry and I'm adding a modifier, a split modifier, okay. So I have this uh, here, this frame, if you prefer. Okay, so now uh, we're going to work a little bit more in the next tutorial, uh, in a future tutorial on the detail, but for the moment we have the basic here, uh, the basic shape, and I need also to delete this face here as well. All right, and perhaps this one, because I'm going to, uh, be adding the, uh, the the handle in the next tutorial so I need to get rid of those faces really I don't need them okay so something like so all right so uh, now if I go ahead and bring back my uh, my net you can see the net here I'm adjusting my camera somewhere here so I can see all my objects here and I want to bring also the uh, my my plain objects just to have a render here of course now the material here is not the appropriate is the glass material I made for the net so I'm going to change it into a new material so I'm deleting this material for the frame adding a new material that I'm going to name uh, wood All right and I'm giving to it a rather reddish brownish color Okay, so I am ready to try out the render. So for a moment, and as I told you, I, I I need to work on the detail. But this in the future tutorial, 
okay for the moment I showed you how you can make the basic the very very basic um, geometry of our uh, frame racket so uh, that completes our tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed it you learned something from this and if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a another part of this tutorial series uh, perhaps adding the handle and things like that uh, working a little bit on the detail of our racket uh, tennis racket and that goes for today see you next time until then have fun and goodbye